Teresa, and this is part of my beautiful WordPress shop that I designed using Elementor Pro. Today, I'm going to show you how you can add an eye-catching slider like this one to your WordPress website. Let's start by clicking the timer icon, which turns into the home icon in the upper left-hand corner. Then click Dashboard. And from Dashboard, we're looking for pages are all pages. Now, if you create an existing shop page or you've added items to your WooCommerce site before, you should already have a shop page. I'm going to search for mine by typing in shop in the search bar. Now, once I scroll down, the page marked shop page is the one that is currently displaying as my shop. Can you see it right here? It'll be marked with the words shop page. See that? Perfect. Once you've identified your page, if you'd like to get a glimpse of what it currently looks like, click the home icon up left, then click Visit Shop from the drop down. Here's my shop page. If you've yet to customize it, it usually will contain a simple grid of all the products you've added so far. Now that you've seen the page, are you ready to watch the transformation? Here's part of the slider that I've created using the slides block from Elementor Pro. You can also use Slider Revolution. Isn't this beautiful? Now, to customize your general shop page, First, let's click the home icon again in the upper left corner of the page to access the template section. Okay, here's templates right here. And if you have a saved template, once you click save templates, it'll appear here. Let's see, we don't have a saved template. So if not, go ahead and click the add new template button at the top of the page. Now we're going to choose a template type. In this case, it'll be product archive. I'm going to name my template shop, shop updates, then proceed by clicking the create template button. Don't be shy, go ahead and click it. After, Elementor will show you a list of templates you can use to display the items in your shop. I don't really like these options. So I'm gonna click the X in the upper right corner to create my own from scratch. Here's my page. And this is where we'll be adding the new slider. Click the plus icon to add a new block. I'm gonna select a single structure. And now I'm gonna go back to my slider and copy the block. Then I'll add it to the page by clicking the paste option. I'll do that by right clicking the grid icon and then clicking paste. Ta da! Here's how it looks so far. Let's give it a brief look through, and if it's all good, we're going to click the publish button. Is it all good? Let's go ahead and click the publish button in the lower left area. Now it's going to ask, where do you want to display your template? Let's click the Add Condition button, then scroll down and find our shop page. Make sure All Product Archives is also included. Once it's all good, click the Save and Continue button at the very bottom of the screen. Not that one, it's in the lower right corner. Was this easy for you to follow or did you have a hard time? Let me know in the comments section. And if you want your shop to look like this, Stay tuned for part two. In the meantime, keep up with Caressa at HelloCaressa underscore on Instagram and HelloCaressa on Facebook. Also, make sure you subscribe for more tutorials like these. We're friends now, right? Stay tuned.